Speedrunning is an amazing talent, and usually, to perfect it, you need some kind of superpower, like advanced agility for button mashing, or reflexes, analyzing every single frame on screen for that perfect precision jump. You could have those, or you could just have a very weird hyper obsession over a specific video game that causes you to play it over and over until you know all of its ins and outs. Today is a story for probably the latter case. This is a speedrunner who went to a tournament and they were roasted so badly that they basically became a meme overnight, only for that meme to somehow get worse and worse and worse as the years went on. It reaches the point where people came to this guy's house giving him pizza, so it's pretty bad. Right, what cinema is on the menu today? The story of Chibi, the world's saddest speedrunner. I think I know who this is. This is the guy who, you know, he's sat on the couch and he tells his friend to like, shut up. And he's like, I I'd like you to be quiet right now. Speedrunning has become one of the most popular gaming pastimes on the internet. People just really enjoy extremely talented individuals going through a game as fast as humanly possible to be the one to get that world record and get that sweet, sweet dopamine hit. Or hell, just- how long does it take to like speedrun a game? You know, like from, from training to actual execution. I'm not talking about the actual final speedrun. But how long does it take? Surely it's months, right? So let's say if you want to speedrun like Mario, you've never played Mario in your life, right? And then you, you try to speedrun it. I, I, I actually reckon months. At worst months, I feel years for some people, especially for like retries and stuff, 10 years. You see, in order to get this level of skill, you need to play these games for hundreds, perhaps even thousands of hours to absolute perfection. You know what I love so much that I've learned through like putting thousands of hours into games? You can put thousands of hours into a video game and you get no better. So I've got like, I swear like over a thousand hours in Dark Souls 3, but I still get absolutely bodied by any kind of invader in that game. The same with Elden Ring. I put so much time into Elden Ring and then I just get completely shit on and rolled. These people need to play these games over and over and over and over and over, all for the sake of getting faster and faster at the game. It needs to become muscle memory. That's enough to drive anyone in. Oh my god, I don't know who this guy is, but I love him. He looks like a Senator Armstrong. He even has the glasses and stuff as well. I keep seeing this guy posted around. Does anyone know who this guy is? He's like shredded. These speedrunners need to dedicate a good portion of their brain to just remembering these games front to back. I just remember one person that was like speedrunning Zelda and then he fell asleep on stream for like two days. In the professional world, we call that autism. Yeah, it's kind of one of those things everyone knows, but no one likes to talk about. A lot of speedrunners are somewhere else. We'll ever do a FNAF stream. I'm not joking when I say I've never played a FNAF game apart from Security Breach. And then I played that for like 20 minutes. I've never played a FNAF game. They, I'm, I'm too scared. I, I'm not even trolling when I say that. I'm, I'm too scared. Because you know most horror games, jump scares are like 5 to 10% of the game. With FNAF, it is 90% of the game. And jump scares, Foxy profile picture. Yeah, I know. But like, I, I'd watch it on YouTube because I was too scared. Are you scared of furries? No, I never said that. I said I'm scared of being ha having your fucking amygdala being jump scared every 5 seconds. Your fight or flight response. It's not L. It's not L. It's, it's literally fight or flight it's it's a normal it's a normal way of thinking that i don't want to get jump scared every five seconds that's what they do in every horror film the woman goes in the dark room the quiet and, and then the music in the background it drops out it just stops and then the jump scare like you know it's coming and it plays with your your, your amygdala your, your fight or flight response the little almond shaped thing in your brain speed run basically become their hyperfixations i should note i'm not saying this from the outsider looking in i'm on the spectrum myself and i can sniff out my own pretty well from complete strangers on the internet to finally be seen for what you can do. You did what? World record. Larry, you got the world record. <laughs> oh my god, you got the world record? <laughs> <laughs> it's just the average guy to get a world record speed run. He just sat there shirtless in his chair. My face. Oh my god, I knew it was coming. Oh my god. But. Oh, is that his dad? Okay, that's actually really wholesome. That is wholesome. I can't even shit on that. That's that's wholesome. It's the thing is, though, like, can you translate speedrunning into actual money? Tournaments. Yeah, but it's all for charity, though, isn't it? I think. Maybe, like, sponsors and stuff, right? I guess, yeah, like, appearance money and stuff. A lot of these individuals do well at what they're good at, but when things go awry and out of their control, it ends up disastrous. If a run goes bad, a lot of speedrunners do not take it well. And that's putting it lightly. I don't blame them though. They put like hundreds of hours into learning something and then they get fucked by like some pixel misstep or some jump that they should have done on like frame two instead of frame three. When I see people rage on speedrunning, it is hilarious, but I, I totally understand why. <laughs> no way! No way! No way! <laughs> no way! 
the thing is, I, I've started playing Six Siege a lot recently. That's just me. That's me doing like a that, that's me doing like a rank game, and then I get shot by someone because they're just like they're, they're looking at a single pixel on their 8K monitor, and if the pixel changes color, they press mouse one. They get a, a headshot. Ever expected years later, grown men will be getting this angry at a game made for children. <laughs> Made for children. And it's not just the runs themselves. Some speedrunners cannot take the pressures of the real world as well. Seeing how much drama and controversy they're constantly using in the community, it's no wonder. Having your brain dedicated- L Siege? Uh, it's not L, it's a good game. There's just no games to play at the minute. I don't even mean this is like a PS5 bit, there are actually no games. That's why I picked up Siege again. Because it's that or I play League of Legends. League of Legends sucks. <laughs> No, I've never tried it. No, it looks like Cookie Clicker. It's like top down, top down garbage, not Diablo. Resident Evil 4. Now that is a game. That is a game that came out. That is actually a video game. Uh, I'm going to stream that uh, soon, by the way. I'm going to stream it and I'm going to do it on professional difficulty. I'll do it on professional uh, or hardcore, whatever the hardest difficulty is when it comes straight out of the box. I think you unlock professional later. I think the base one is hardcore. We're going to do it on hardcore. When I get home, I've got a two PC setup now. So I'm going to be able to stream like everything max settings, like no jittering, no stuttering, nothing. I'm, I'm so, I'm super excited for that. An entire portion of itself to a video game is enough to drive anyone crazy. But I think I've rambled on enough. It's time to get to the meat and potatoes. Moist beat you to playing Rizzy 4 because he's scared of me. He's obviously quaking in his boots. I actually get more views than him per video now. Don't check, but you know, just, just, just take it, take it, take it by my word. There is a good chance you've seen this clip online. So uh, this is, is one this is cinema. This is cinema. I would really prefer if you would be quiet. <laughs> but yes, you are correct. I like I was just there jerking off the controllers. I, I would really prefer if you could be quiet. This is the infamous Summer Games Done Quick of 2014. Everyone in the speedrunner community. 2014. This is nearly a 10 year old clip, by the way. That is terrifying. This is a nine year old video. Jesus Christ. Has probably seen this at least once. In this video, you seem to have a Reddit user, a Walmart clerk, Shaggy from Scooby Doo, and Mark Zuckerberg all sitting on the couch together. Guys, what's what's the Sneed meme? I don't get it. I've just said it's a very subtle joke. I don't, I don't get it. Something about like two guys that own a, like a, a, a house or something. I just hate how it fucking leaks into every facet of media. The main two points of interest here are the two in the middle. One is constantly making corny jokes, while the other is extremely focused on the game. He doesn't actually talk though, so he would never say that in any situation. He makes grunts. <laughs> That's kind of like talking. He could pretend he does. Now, I have no real interest in the man who scanned my Oreos yesterday. The real point of interest here- It's just so horrible seeing this interaction, like it's actually painful. Is the guy cracking corny jokes. This is Chibi Necro, also known as- This guy just reminds me of the adoring fan from Oblivion. You guys remember that, that little like, that little guy that would just follow you around everywhere? Just say one-liners everywhere? And most people just ended up killing him and putting it on YouTube because how annoying he was? Yes! Oh, great and mighty grand champion? Is there something you need? Can I carry your weapon? Shine your boots? Back rub, perhaps? Bye. Just Chibi. Chibi is a victim. Chibi wishes to be well known for his speedrunning, but things never go right for him. He's made some terrible mistakes, some terrible decisions, and others have never let him forget it. In fact, I would say Chibi is the world's saddest speedrunner. Why has he got like a blue screen? Making it out like he's just drowning or something. So confirmed Santa's number one helper is a squirrel. I would really prefer if you would be quiet. <laughs> All you need to know is Chibi is a speedrunner and he is autistic. I'm not jumping to conclusions here or anything. His own mother has confirmed, yes, he is on the spectrum. Jimmy, I, I just want you to know something. He's, he's got some issues. He has Asperger's autism, and sometimes he doesn't think clearly, and he doesn't make, he makes stupid choices and stupid decisions. Yes, ma'am. So basically, he is everything of what I described earlier. He is good at what he hyperfixates on, speed running. Or at least, that's what we're led to believe. The only thing of Chibi's early life we have is this video of a young Chibi showing off his <clears throat> Dark energy moon collar. Why does he look the exact same in every video? He's one of those people that just does not age a day. They cannot age. They look the exact same at like 14 as they do when they're 45. 
is it's pretty much the source of my power. It's the source of my energy. Asperger's isn't that brave. I have it and I'm fine. Parentheses for a pyro viewer. Did you laugh at that? I mean, he's got JC Denton profile picture, so you didn't even need to say that entire comment, to be fair. I collect dark energy from the, from the moon, and whenever there's a full moon out, it's hard to explain. This is why I never tell anyone about my color. I mean, you've just self-snitched in chat. Kind of the way it is. So it seems Chibi had an edgy phase in his teenage years. We were all young once, we did stupid shit, but most of us didn't upload to the internet to be permanently hitched on there. Chibi speed runs primarily Nintendo games. I'm not, I'm not coming in on that. I'm not coming in on, on that. His favorite ones seem to be from the GameCube era. One of his favorites being Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. And oh boy, we'll get back to this one. What the fuck? Milk cartons, god damn. Hmm? Chibi was completely unknown to the public. That was until the Game's Done Quick incident. Yeah, this was Chibi's claim to fame. He looks like Shaggy in that video. Like his, his hair and the fact that he's like wearing green as well. Zoinks! This is what pushed him into the public's eye. I didn't know Mr. Garrison made videos. We're talking about speedrunning today, okay? That's the teacher. You mean Mr. Mackey? Who's Mr. Garrison? The trans one? Oh, I can't do his accent. I thought, no, no, the head teacher's the one that goes, okay. No, he, he's the counselor. Oh, right. And then it's the woman with the yellow she hair that's the head teacher. Was his. <laughs> What, what'd you say? That's why you have me when it comes to South Park. Yeah, true. I don't think I've watched more South Park in my life than I have with you in the past week. Birthday, and he was invited to the couch by Mark Zuckerberg here because of it. <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg? <laughs> he didn't know anything about. We can watch it later. Tom, but two. And so he did the only thing he could do crack corny jokes. Yes. <laughs> fast pants. They make you go fast. By the way, I know, th I know this is like irrelevant, but he's playing Tomba 2. Tomba 2 was actually slick on uh, on the PS1. Really good game, is goated. Oh yeah, I would hate to actually like have to put the pants on. I mean, I could always wear the pants. Oh. He seemed harmless. It's not harmless though. Like, thing is with this chibi guy, he just seems to have like main character syndrome. The guy speedrunning is basically the main character of the anime, right? And that and that's okay because he's the one speedrunning it. There's nothing wrong with that. If you get some other guy come in to try and make quips to kind of like outdo you, it's just cringe. If you work off what he's saying or like ask questions, you know, that he'd know because he's like a god swear the game. That's fine. You should. Ah, what do you do that for? That's like when Idubs hit his wife, but now it's the the woman hitting the man. This would lead to one of the most infamous moments in Games Done Quick Kiss. The fine brother. Victory, right next to the knitting girl. You guys have noticed that I've been knitting. Oh my god, do you guys know the knitting girl? She basically just trauma dumped about like her family dying like in a live stream. I'm not against you know you make like a private Twitter and like trauma dumping. But this, this is different. She basically hijacked the entire stream to, to trauma dump. We gotta do a bit of lore here. There's gonna be some people, there's gonna be some, some people in the audience at home that don't know about this. She asks the guy to stop streaming as well. It's just so, it's so painful to watch. Yeah, here we go. So this will probably be my last chance to tell the story really quick. Um, is there subtitles? She said, this is gonna be my last chance to tell this story. This like she's gonna be taken up to heaven after the stream ends. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've been knitting the entire time I've been here. I've noticed. Don't worry, I've um, noticed. I actually learned how to knit for my granddaughter. Can you stop it? That, um, she died of cancer a couple years ago. And there's actually pretty much a 50% chance I'm going to die of I'm actually soy facing. I I wasn't even doing that for a bit. Like like my brain instinctively made me soy face. That was so bad. So she said her grandparent her grandparent died of cancer, which like I mean that's fine to talk about. Probably not the best time to do it in the middle of a stream, uh, a fucking speedrunning stream, you know. And then goes on to say that she might die of it as well. And on top of that, I think the worst thing is she then asks the guy going for the speedrun to stop doing the speedrun. The thing is, I, I want to say, I think that's really selfish because she basically knew that she was going to be on a live stream and she's used it to hijack it to trauma dump. It's not like it was a coincidence. She went to a convention that she knew there would be live streaming and it wasn't like, you know, she went to a convention to distract herself or anything like that. She's basically hijacked it to make it all about herself. Thing is, like, if she talked about it, I think the reason why no one sided with her 
like watching this video is because she's asking the guy to stop. I mean, it's literally to prevent cancer. Like she has every right to be there, but yeah, just kind of like making it about herself and then asking the guy to stop speed running. Buddy being in the actual audience while the speed run was happening, <laughs> more people would see- Like I, I, I've seen, I, I've tried to not acknowledge it, but Bub has been sat in the chat the whole time. He's like the only verified account. He just keeps saying, granny gone, unlucky, grandma fell off, grandma rip bozo. I've, I've tried so hard to not read your comments out loud, but I, I, I just gave him bro. PewDiePie made a video on this, and it has over 10 million views on it. So PewDiePie! Brofist! Uh, almost 20 million people, give or take, have seen this clip over the years. Chibi did become a semi-famous figure, not only for this, but for other reasons we'll get into in just a bit. Caveman, however, seems to have just fallen off the earth. It's very obvious to me the man wants to keep a low profile and just forget the whole incident ever happened. He looks back on it with annoyance and regret. From what I understand, his name was Chibi, which is an excellent name for a man. I told him to be quiet because he was a fucker, and I didn't ask- He was a fucker. You could just hear the spite and vitriol in this guy's voice. Ask for him to be on the couch, and he just invited himself on, and sat shoulder length to me so I couldn't move my elbows, and just would not shut the fuck up. Did anyone see him actually doing those- To be fair, you could have asked the guy to move. I think it's a bit of a bitch boy move to like talk shit about the guy when he's left. You could have asked during the stream, hey bro, like I need, you know, I need to be able to have, you know, use my fucking controller. Jumping jacks? Like, Jesus Christ, at least like, at least do good proper jumping jacks. Nope, I didn't flip him off, I didn't suplex him, I didn't do anything. I just wanted him to leave me alone. Speedrunning drama is just Battle of the Spectrums. It, it does remind me a lot of the Gmod RP stuff you cover, to be fair, Bob. It's on that level of just two morons that have a superiority complex and they just come together. So, Caveman's importance in this story is over. It's all about Chibi and what he did after this incident. My boy. After he got that little bit of fame. And oh boy, did he do some very, very, very interesting things. I'd like to imagine that with the fame, he moved to LA. He did, you know, he's, he's there like roommating with Schlatt. Just made it. Completely set for life. He's got that Twitch contract now. After the incident. And we're going to talk about those things. You want to know what happened to the Games Done Quick guy? Well, these other incidents are what happened. Eh? So, confirmed, Santa's number one helper is a squirrel. You cheated! <laughs> In early 2015, Chibi was speedrunning one of his favorite games, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. This game, being the classic it is, has a huge speedrunning community. There are people who have combed over this game and dissected it from front to back, looking into every nook and cranny of it to see how it works and what would work in a speedrun. Glitches they could abuse to shave off those- Dude, why they give that ghost such big milkers though? God damn, look at these milkers. No, for real though. Oh my. Is he up? Hang on. Let's see if we can show the dog boys. Might have dog cam. Focus. Hang on, if I move my mic. There he is. There he is. The boy. Troy. Hey. It's Troy. It's the dog. It's the dog. It's the lab. It's Troy. Does he need to go out? Does he need to go out? Goodbye. Bye bye. Goodbye, dog. Dogs be like, For those who don't know, there is a glitch in Thousand Year Door where after exiting from a battle, for a split second after you leave the battle, you can control over Mario again. If you jump and then, at the exact peak of your jump, let your partner hit an enemy for you, after you exit the battle you can jump again to give yourself a double jump. This I just love how so many speedrunning videos, it's always like some make or break. I think in one of the Zelda games, I, I don't know if it was Wind Waker or something, but there was like this this huge invisible barrier that was blocking the end game. And people found ways of getting into that past that shield, but it was so hard to do. It was like, you know, basically just counting frames. When's a new main video? Uh, it's Cruelty Squad, and then it will probably be Fear and Hunger next. But uh, I'm having it set up so I can actually get, like, hopefully a main channel video out on the main channel, like, once a month. So it's not like a fucking three-month wait or six-month wait anymore. That's why I'm already going to start working on the next main channel video now.
pretty much. Now it should be noted, this glitch needs to be frame perfect. Carl, when is bottom. the Cruelty Squid video coming out? The waiting feels like eternity. Uh, it'll be out soon. Maybe in an hour. You need to get this in two exact frames, one before and after the battle. And Chibi was going to attempt it to save his run. He even got a beat going so he could line it up just right. Alright, here we are. I like that jump! You know, what they got love about speedrunning, I have no idea what's going on. 90% of it, you just have no idea what, what, what's, what's happening at all. And by sheer luck, he got it. He got both of the frame perfect inputs just right. But despite doing this next to impossible feat by yourself, his reaction is just blank. He barely reacts at all. It looks like Bub Games watching one of my videos. Go, True. as you can see. Usually when most speedrunners pull off an incredible feat, their reaction is nothing but pure X. Damn. Okay, that was actually a good jump though. Jesus Christ, look at that. Like perfect space. Wait! It is it! That is it! Damn. Yes! Wait, what? I thought it So I, I assume like the fact that Bowser threw those in that order is so low, like the percentage chance. He's not called Bowser, is he? He's called like King Cooper and that or something, I think. He didn't get it! I thought he didn't get it! I thought it was A2! And he kept gaming! Oh my god! I like how his background is just a golden AK. What? But Chibi just sits there. Staring off into the distance like like he's found himself back in the war So he pulls to be fair. I've never seen speedrunners happy like that one with the guy like crying with his parents That he got the world record that is the first example I've seen of someone speedrunning actually looking like they're enjoying themselves You could do community service and there are people that are having more of a fun time than speedrunning They put themselves under all that mental taxation for free It's off an extremely difficult feat and barely has anything to say about it Something seems off here and I'm not the only one who felt this way Remember when I said autism is a powerful thing? Well, it just so happens that one expert on this game who has dissected the game He's a janitor on the internet. He does it for free. Front to back was watching a stream while he was doing this. And he immediately knew something was off. I am accusing you of cheating. Something doesn't seem right about that. I am accusing you of cheating. So I will analyze this later and conclude with more info. Fuck off. I, I, that guy's worse. That guy's worse than Chibi. Not even like cheater lol. He's just like, I am accusing you of cheating. Like, like I, if I had the Go XLR here, I'd do like the Vine Thud sound effect. Like you, you just know the guy making this comment, he wears like a monocle unironically. He was going to analyze the footage and the look on Chibi's face is priceless. <laughs> the face of many reaction images. As Malio went through the footage frame by frame and came to the conclusion that the movements Chibi pulled off did not match up with how the glitch was supposed to go. He lost momentum while performing the first jump, so it wasn't at the peak it was supposed to be at. Oh, he confronted right. Chibi about it, and Chibi confessed. Oh no, it's over. It's over. I mean, I still fuck this guy for ruining the dream. That's like, that's the equivalent of telling a kid that Santa doesn't exist. Like, that's fucked. Also, incorrect, thank you very much. Do not argue with me. I arguably know the most about this game because I have experience using an emulator and slow down. I've collected frame data of every single jump height scenario. Why did you talk like that, bro? So after you are lying, after admitting to lying, which is further disrespect to me, I'm admitting to it. They were both faked. It's over. He used a moon jump cheat to make it look like he pulled it off. Chibi Can you react cheated. to Bob Live? No, but thank you, Gab, for the, the, the ten dollar. Is he what is he what is he watching me right now? Is he watching me right now? Look at this shit. Look at this shit, bro. Look at this shit. So he has his own channel, Bob Games, right? Where he makes uh, yeah. great content. Great content. And then what does he do? What does bro do? Copies me. He just stole my character and then he overlaid his disgusting face onto it. I'm only I'm only joking, Bob. You're quite handsome. You look like a I hate everything if he was a Chad. What is this? Is this fucking idiot just like know how we're gonna do this video, dude? <sighs> a question for the ages. Jury X. He watched a 35 minute video. Does he say anything? Say something. Say something! Oh wait, he's speaking, he's speaking. What's he say? What's he saying? 
when, when you have to do like a, a video, like a call out video or a response video, what, never, what's he? Never okay, he's yawning. He's yawning. Great, great, great character development there. He's yawning. Because as bad as it is to keep it off, you, you never take it down. Straight you know, facts. You move on and, he's, you know, saying so so he's saying stuff that's true. Die in your sleep in a video game. I'm in Sweden. Okay. Do you say anything? True. Okay, he said a true. True. Say something. Bob, you're a prick. He, oh, look at this. The, he even stole the banner. I make the parasitical video, but live and Bob. And then he used my P.O. Box address. He used my P.O. Box address for his shit. Nothing good has came from Australia. I'll say this now. Nothing good has came from Australia. Apart from cold ones. Stolen Valor, true. Yoinked my entire channel. Just so he could sit there and react to my videos and go, Oh, it's so true. So true. Oh, man, it's a lot. Oh, it's fucking so true. I can't even say, like, the C word. The C word that you guys say every five seconds, because... Apparently, uh, like, like, I got, I got an email from YouTube, and they said, like, there's two words you can't say, the N-word and the C-word. I'm not joking, they, they put those two on the same level, apparently. Oh, me, oh, me, fuck it. Hey, guys, it's me, Bob Games. What is a fucking Gmod trolling? Oh, look, it's a fucking kid. Oh, fucking lighter. Oh, I killed him, and then I tripped him in a room. Oh, it's, oh, fucking hell, like and subscribe for more, mate. Jesus Christ, mate. Fucking shrimp on the bobby. Now, I am in no way defending the shitty thing Chibi did here. Let me just get out the way. But because of what he did, and the fact Chibi isn't good with social cures or how to deal with these situations well, everything else you're going to see in this video is a direct cause of this incident. Because of the heinous nature of this act... The thing is, he keeps saying it's because the guy's, like, you know, a bit autistic and stuff, but it's like, the guy who did the investigation was probably even higher on the spectrum than him. Because, like, he did- he did that guy- the only reason he got caught out in a lie is because the other guy watching the stream did, like, a CSI analysis because he was basically gatekeeping his own game. This led to a lot of trolling, and I mean a lot of trolling. As a result of the little stunt Chibi pulled, he got dogpiled online for it. I mean, yeah, it was a shitty thing to do, but this led to his personal information getting leaked. Why does this always happen? It never needs to come to this, bro. You don't need to, like, dock someone just to fuck with them. It it's so stupid. What? It's like, he cheated, he admitted he cheated. Okay, I'm gonna put his home address online, that's funny. His phone number and address were out there for the <coughs> world to see, and the world saw he was living with his mother. I can't really judge the dude for that, because I think most speedrunners live with their parents. And it should be noted, Chibi... I don't, think, I don't think there's anything wrong with living with your parents, especially with, like, how the world is now, right? I mean, I, I, I read something about how, like, people in the UK that go to uni, they're basically going to be living with their parents until they're fucking 30 because how much uni debt they have. Imagine getting docs because of Paper Mario. <laughs> his father passed away around this time, so it's just him and his mom. Oh my god, is that his pro- Okay, wait, does he have an anime profile picture? Yeah, it's over. Imagine a profile picture like that talking about how, like, they had a family- bereavement and it's just like you know horny anime girl the sans parents live with him i don't get it what is it is, is that like rorschach from watchman it's like you're not i'm not in prison with you you're in prison with me i mean i think i think that's the best thing you can do though like you know take care of your parents it's it's like with my my, my parents like work uh with my company now because they used to both like work in teaching and stuff but now they they kind of work with me so yeah that was that was really humbling to have that happen they're my slaves. To send him some pizzas, some good old Italian cuisines. But one issue is, they forgot to pay. So it looks like Chibi and his mother are going to be the ones to foot the bill. Okay, I don't think they forgot to pay. I think they called up every pizzeria until they found out one that paid by the door. Two people now showed up. Passport pizza and breads. And they did this for multiple different pizza places. They'd call them, order an ass load of pizzas, and expect Chibi's mom to pay up. I, I wish this could happen to me. I wish someone could order pizza to my house. Where I live is like so remote. There's no there's no takeaway. You cannot you you actually cannot order like you can get Amazon to my house like Amazon Prime, but you cannot get like food deliveries to my house. That there is no delivery app or anywhere that will drive out to where I live. But eventually, the trolls got sick of sending pizzas. One guy decided to take it up a notch. Way 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 up a notch. Hello. Hi. Are you Adam's mom? Yes, I am. Yes, ma'am. Um, I had some uh, 
information I wanted to share you that your son has posted pictures of his Pekka online, and he admitted to sending them to a 17-year-old girl. Oh, come on. Okay, this didn't even happen either. They're literally just framing him to his... Like, his, his mom doesn't need this shit, man. Come on. That's... Fu like, why go after the mom? The mom does not need more stress. Like, literally, her husband died. Fucking hell. Speedrunning community, man. God damn. This is why, like, you always stay away from someone with an anime profile picture, for real. They're, they are scary people. Decided it would be a smart idea to post pictures of himself naked on the internet. Th these were not leaked. These were posted by him for the world to see. Now, I'm not going to show these for, for, for very- What do you mean for the world to see? So we didn't send them to anyone? What the fuck did he do? Did he put them on Craigslist or something? Oh, you know what? Y you know that horny account where he said his dad died? He probably actually posted his penis on there. What an idiot. Imagine, like, even believing the random man that called you and then asking your son. Jesus. I feel really bad for Chibi himself. Yeah. It's just a sad case. I don't, I don't, like, originally he was the antagonist, right? We did not like Chibi, but now Chibi, he's punished Chibi. He's like a venom snake in MGS5 with the eye patch, the little horn. Like, he's punished right now. This is, this is, this is unfair. Like, like, even, like, troll him is kind of funny, but not his mom. His mom does not need that stress. Dude, who is that character? Look at fucking milk jugs on that character. Holy fucking shit. So I was making sure my girlfriend wasn't in the room. Anyways, um... Anyways. <clears throat> like, have some sympathy for his mother. Getting pieces sent to your house, having people call you and tell your son is allegedly doing illegal acts, and on top of all that, you can't even get a good night's sleep because your son is up at three in the morning speedrunning Paper Mario. Like, my mom came in and she was like, son, it's four in the morning, you gotta stop playing, you're wasting your life playing video games. I'd be like, bitch, be quiet, I'm Diamond One. And all you hear all night is... Who's your siege main? Uh, attacker is Nock, and then defender is Solace. Because they're like the only two characters in the game that look cool. Even oh, he used a Wojak. Okay. I didn't understand this video, but now he used a Wojak, it makes sense. Even though he cheated on a speedrun, this is a bit much, don't you think? What rank are you in Rainbow Six? I'm Diamond One. Surprised you're not a gridlock main. He's got a fat ass to be fair, maybe. Is your account boosted? No, I'm not Pokey main. I don't boost my account. I'm Diamond One, legit. In early 2016, Chibi held a fundraiser for the Easter Seals. You know, it seems like an actual good cause. Okay, a fundraiser. How will this go wrong? How will this go wrong? It is a fundraiser. There is no way that this could go wrong. Surely. Surely not, guys. He had special guests and everything to help raise money for- Stop capping. We need evidence. Yup. Nope. Alright. I got Siege installed on this laptop. I was greasing it yesterday. I'll show you. You think I'm lying? You think I'm lying? You guys think I'm lying? You guys think I'm lying? I'll show you I'm Diamond 1. C can you- can you view your rank offline? I don't even know if you can. Why does it take it so long? I can run this at like 140 FPS on, on this, uh... This laptop has a 40... 40... 40... 80 in it. Not a single... Not a single French-made app on my computer wants to open today. Uplay doesn't want to open. Ubisoft Connect doesn't want to open. Six Siege on Steam doesn't want to open. All right, I found I found my account anyway. Uh, yeah, I found my account on uh the the, the tracker. Hang on. So this is my account. Uh, as you can see, Diamond One, Diamond One, Diamond Two, uh, KD, fucking amazing kills. Really good, really good stuff. Anyways, I should- So it seems like Chibi is actually doing something good. But there was just one mistake. One fatal mistake. One of the people who was helping organize the event, I don't know who it was and I don't think they've ever come out, but they accidentally showed the service password on a- How? That is not your account? That is my account. My account is Parasynical with an underscore because some maggot stole Parasynical. Who took Parasynical? I bet you don't even play the fucking game. Who took that? Oh my god. He- this maggot took my name and then he never played the game again. What's your profile pic- What the f- look at that! What the f- Look at his profile picture! Look at his pro- it, it, it's Lois Griffin in panties! This maggot took my name! I'm, uh, I got told by Ubisoft, actually, I'm, I'm in the top five people in Siege. Anyways. Another stream. And because of this mistake, others were able to get a hold of the server. And once they got a hold of the server, the stream was hijacked. How is it inspect element? 
It's, it, how is it inspect element? It, it wasn't inspect element. I, I just opened that page right now, you idiot. How, how do I inspect element that? And it was DDoSed multiple times. Chibi and his guests tried to damage control, but there was no hope. Eventually, the trolls started hacking the stream and showing scenes of, well... So they shown off their server key in front of everyone. So this wholesome little event to try to get, like, some updoots completely backfired. Great. <laughs> very, very explicit acts of some individuals. Hey, buddy, I think you got the wrong door. The leather club's too much. Fuck down. you. Fuck you. Hey, hey, just moved to Stockholm from the UK. Want takeaway recommendations? Uh, get a, a falafel, falafel king. <laughs> but let's just say, if you were a Fujoshi, you were having a field day on this stream. So while the stream was going on, it kept getting replaced with the outtakes of Brokeback Mountain. No matter what Chibi or anybody else did, it kept happening. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, nice. Make well, my day. Was... Please yeah, continue. Okay. Gone? By all means. Is it, is it gone? Oh yeah, I took So eventually, everything got shut down. From what I've heard, the fundraiser still managed to raise like $2,000 before everything went to shit. So they at least accomplished something. Why is the background music for this bit just like fart sounds? Is this, is this, uh, is this Conker's Bad Fur Day? Parasynical OST? Yeah, I kind of, I, 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 yeah, I just kind of walked into that one. I, w I walked into that one. The guy who said parasitical OST, I'll put you in timeout. It's too, too much bullying going on in this chat, I think. I need to kind of take a stance here. Yeah, I ban him. I ban him. Can't wait for the Cruelty Squad video. Bought the game because you'll stream. Also love the podcast. It would be amazing if you had Umpa, Muda, Nux. Umpa, you mean Umperville? I'm sure he'd come on. Muda, you mean Muaha? Uh, I'm sure he'd come on. Nooks, he's the guy that like stands Undertale, right? Yeah, he'd probably come on. But I'll be honest, even if this was a shitty thing to happen, it's still hilarious to me. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. So yeah, Chibi is still getting trolled even almost a full year later, because <laughs> he's apparently just an easy target to roll up. But to be honest, sometimes he does bring it upon himself. Fanta's number one helper is a squirrel. <laughs> this is the flat line. The flat line sound. On July 11th, 2015, the current president of Nintendo since 2002, Satoru Iwata, had passed away at 55 years old due to a tumor on his bile duct. It was a dark day for Nintendo fans and the gaming industry in general. Many people in the gaming industry and many fans of Nintendo left their condolences and thoughts and prayers for him and his family. Many a Nintendo fan. Jesus Christ, 55 is so young as well. Shit. That's young. God damn. I was included in that. If I recall correctly, I wrote a shitty poem on a dead gaming forum nobody will ever find. I was 16, I was full of raging hormones, and had no personality but lucky. That's like you? How old do I look? I'm 25 now. How, how, old, how old do I look? Let's uh, let's let's see what chat says. Let's see Paul Allen's card. 15, 12, 5, 87, 40, 98, 38, 21. What's the 21 meme? I don't get it. 28, 55, 40. Okay, so people are saying I look younger than my actual age or like literally 40. GB was included in that laundry list of Nintendo fans who were wrecked by what is passing. So he too decided to pay his condolences. But instead of talking about it or streaming a game he worked on in his honor, Chibi decided to do something different. Despite being only a few days away, Chibi Okay, he's a speedrunner and he's trying to commemorate the passing of a video game developer. I've got a feeling this will not go well. Chibi decided that Iwata's funeral was too far off. So he was going to host a funeral for Iwata on his own Twitch channel he's for hundreds of people. I mean, it's kind of wholesome, but at the same time, thank you for coming. The service will begin soon. As you can imagine, this is a very bad idea. Let's watch it. Oh my god. Okay. This is already off to a great start. So, whether he did this or he stole it from Google, that is just Gary's mod. He literally just posed a bunch of characters in Gary's mod looking sad. Bro, this is like, if I died, right? I died. And then you have me in a portrait in the corner. And it's just the the the, the little character from Petscop looking really sad. 
Oh, that's horrible. And, and then Vast from Far Cry as well. Today, we as a gaming community have suffered a great loss. Satoru Iwata, Nintendo's president, has passed away. The date of death was July 11th. Oh, what the hell? No way! Yay, yay. Look at the chair he's in as well. He's in like a fold, like a deck chair, like a folding chair. Game developer for HAL Laboratory after being admitted to and graduating college. He helped breathe life into such classics as Kirby's Dreamland, Balloon Fight, and the widely renowned Earthbound. Okay, he seems to be going through Nomada's history with Nintendo and the impact he had. So glad Mario could make it. Yeah, true. He's been pretty busy with his schedule at the minute of no games, but yeah, it, I'm happy he could make it. Pikachu there as well. You got Kirby holding a banana. You got the Animal Crossing Villager. You've got Link and Zelda. Samus, Captain Falco. Is that... Get, what's his name again? Minshew or something? From that game that had a third one come out and it was shit. I don't know who the green guy is here though. Special Jeopardy. But Iwata managed the situation unlike any other CEO. This is like if I died and you'd like prop uh, a fat pyro from Team Fortress 2 looking over my grave being really sad. Someone please do that. If I die, if I die under like really weird circumstances, please someone do that. And then someone have a mock funeral like this. CEO. Instead of firing any of his employees, he took the blow. He took a massive pay cut in their stead. This is the formula of a good leader. And, and he's describing the selfless acts he did to help out his employees. It seems Chibi does think highly of the man. Although I do feel uncomfortable watching this, with the ghost of Iwata back there, staring at me and judging me for going out my way to watch this shit. I don't understand how he's done this, but he makes me feel like I'm in the courtroom with Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, and someone like, like an eyewitness is giving testimony. I don't know how he's done that for a mock funeral, it's amazing. Okay, well, this is eight minutes in and I don't see what the issue with this video is. I heard for years this was the- The green guy's- The green guy is called Link. Oh no, yeah, no, I- Yeah, no, I, I was doing a bit, I was doing a bit. I, I know what the characters are, but yeah, no, thank you. Cringiest shit ever. But despite the fact he set the stream up for a man he's ever met and probably didn't even know he even existed, I don't really see what's so cringy about this. Yeah, the writing's a little corny, but it's not that bad. The legacy he left will still- Are you saying wait for it? Does it get worse? Or are you saying wait for it? ...still resonate with us for generations. And even though he, we was, he was never with us when he spoke, it was clear that he was speaking not only to us, but directly to our hearts. I'm not sing a song from Earthbound. Wait, are you, you're gonna what? Wait, he's gonna sing? There's no way. Wait, 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 hold, 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 hold the fuck up. Hold up. Nobody say anything about any fucking singing now. Cool, 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 cool your jet, Celine Dion. Let, let him cook. Shut up. Let him cook. Let him create cinema. Don't, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Please, please, for the love of God, dumb man. Don't, don't sing. Please don't. I believe the morning sun. Oh, God! Always gonna shine again. No. About to be another funeral real soon! I believe in skies forever. Hang on a minute. Alright, boys. It's uh it's, it's it's like a Rihanna concert now. Blue. Why shouldn't I believe the same in you? <laughs> oh man, chat's loving it. Look at all those heartfelt comments. Message deleted, message deleted, message deleted. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. That's powerful enough to put a tear in a man's eye. I don't know why this magic mush guy's been so negative. Like, let bro cook. He's done nothing wrong. This guy should go on like X Factor or like America's Got Talent or something. I hope it Where's the 10 hour version? So true. It's worth it, Chibi. But honestly, the singing isn't even the cringiest part. The cringiest part is the Jannies going to overdrive in chat. Honestly, <laughs> TV, they're doing a great job. I say you should double, no, quadruple their pay. Iwata was a great man, and he had a lot of people giving their condolences. But this entire thing was completely unnecessary. But like I said, if he just wanted to say a few things about Iwata, he could have. You didn't have to make a whole mock funeral. You didn't. <laughs> Everyone in chat watching this video now, they're all just typing message <laughs> deleted. <laughs> After all this has happened, we come to the conclusion of our tale of Chibi. This is a man whose entire career had been kickstarted because he sat on the couch, told some corny jokes, and got told to shut up. 
This caused more eyes to get put on him. A pair of those eyes caught him cheating in a speedrun, which then caused tons of people to troll and prank him, sending him pizzas and spreading his nudes, which caused a ripple between him and his mother. Uh. On top of any good causes being rendered inert due to trolls ruining that too. And I didn't even cover everything. There was all the depression posting he had on Twitter, all the house- I'm going to a mental hospital too now. I just tried to strangle myself and drank a shot of laundry detergent. Average warrior, man. Issues and everything else. I'm legit scared shitless. He said he's from Pewd's army. He's watching and waiting. I fucking knew this would happen. Um, I just got a call on my cell phone from some anonymous number. Never answer! Do you know how many times I get called on my phone every day by numbers I don't recognize? And then I answer and it's like, hello, this is John Smith from Microsoft. It's like, I just hang up straight away. I don't even answer the number. So if you answer numbers you don't recognize, you're a fucking moron. But I didn't want to get too deep into that stuff because that didn't involve his streaming career. And well, life is like that. Shit happens. All of these were a result of Chibi's dumb decisions. Had he not cheated, he would have been pranked and trolled down and back. Had he not sat on that couch... Everyone in chat is just saying, message deleted still. I, res I respect the commitment to the bit, I respect it. That wouldn't have been his legacy. But imagine a world where Chibi actually didn't sit on that couch. We probably wouldn't even know who he is. That's a world that, that would just be a tiny bit less entertaining. I'm happy that happened. He actually looks like he's had a bit of a glow up as well. He looks like an extra from Game of Thrones now. You know what I hate as well? This guy can grow facial hair better than me. Chibi is now under a new alias, and still speed runs and streams to this day. Life still gets in the way, bad stuff still happens, but even after everything he's been through, he just keeps chugging along. He's been doxxed, dogpiled, dicked, and he's still going. He still gets trolled once in a while though. Get out of here. Alright, give me one second. There we go. And that's not gonna happen anymore. He's entered his blue hair era. Very careful, He'll, he's gonna pick up several world records with that hair. But he will always be known as the I'd prefer if you'd be quiet guy. <laughs> Which is why I think he's the world's saddest speedrunner. A man who wanted to be known for one thing, but fate had other decisions. Which is a shame. Message well, deleted. If uh, okay, this, okay. I Mods, we gotta stop deleting messages now. It's got a little bit overboard. It's got a little bit overboard, guys. You've, mods, you've been banning people for the past like seven minutes. I think we need to we need to give him a bit of breathing room now. Haha, <laughs> how's it going, bros? My name's PewDiePie. Bro face. My hair.